Hey, it's everything Man United. We have fucking done it. Oh, this is a huge, huge win against Tottenham today. You might feel it's just 1-0, it's Tottenham, but what this does mentally is we can fucking defend 1-0, you know. We can defend Phil Jones, you legend. That last minute, he was like leader in the box. Marcus Rowe along with him. Oh, brilliant. Marcus Rowe is always risky of pulling the shirts, giving the penalty away, but they both are, are fucking legends, you know. At the start of the transfer window, if you would ask me two players, firstly, to get out of the club, I would have said Phil Jones and Marcus Rowe. But suddenly now, they are fucking playing every game, fucking giving their hearts out, playing with passion, playing with pride, most importantly, playing with confidence. And we are going a long, long way. Jose Mourinho, oh, last minute he was absolutely barking at the players. He knows the importance of these three points. Massive three points, you know, unbelievable three points. We've done it. First time in what, 70 days we have won a Premier League game at home after such a long time with positive review on the way. Terrific. Huge victory. I could not do the preview because I was out of town uh, the whole week, but all I was thinking was this is a huge game. We just can't afford to lose it or even draw it because it's just sick. I'm just sick of drawing, uh, you know, drawing home, drawing away. It's, it's just pathetic. And now, against Spurs, who are top four rivals, one there, Mkhitaryan, you beauty, watch a strike, he has got the confidence now, which two months or two weeks ago even, you could have not thought about that, uh, what a finish, blasted into the net, confident finish, and Herrera as well, unbelievable, he's the most important player this season, best player of the season for me, Paul Pogba first half was decent, but suddenly, He's on fire, Paul Pogba, second half, that's the Paul Pogba we won, passing, what a free kick, and he did the bar, and I thought, okay, here we go, Andy Herrera did the same against Everton, we concede a late penalty, we again, uh, Paul Pogba, hits the bar, and I thought, oh, here we go, another draw, and Marlon Fellaini then warming up, got, got booze, you know, um, not good though, he's a United player, and it was great to see play, uh, people then clapping at the start for him, for him because no player deserves this. Okay, he might have considered a penalty last game which cost us three points. But we always, we win as a club, we lose as a team. We win as a team, we lose as a team and that's as simple as that. And uh, overall, this performance gives us massive confidence and it's two away games in a row for us. On Wednesday, we go to Crystal Palace and on Sunday, away to West Brom, both teams, mid-table and rele Crystal Palace fighting relegation, they're in deep trouble and they're in possibly the worst form and this is the best time for us to go there, but also Henrik Mkhitaryan injured and that looked nasty, Danny Rose fouling him and he, you can see his ankle twisting and got off a stretcher, hopefully it's not that serious, we can't afford now the festive period, the game's coming thick and fast, we can't afford to lose him for a long time and he's playing his best game for us. He's playing with confidence, he's scoring goals, he's assisting, he's doing everything. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this ain't, this ain't long. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic, again, he was good. Everybody, I think, everybody played their heart, their hearts out. Valencia, Matthew Dermia, when Sissoko came in, Dermia had no clue how to deal with him. But suddenly, again, he got away. We did not concede. Uh, last 10 minutes, I, I don't even remember what happened. I was so nervous. I hardly watched any pass. When they had the ball, I was like, oh, please, please defend that. And we, thankfully, we did. Last, Danny Rose bursting into the penalty area and Phil Jones. Oh, again, what's, what's a player is turning out to be? Eric Bailly back in the Premier League as well. He just cleared the ball and that's what we needed. Overall, unbelievably good performance, lots of positives, B biggest positive is three fucking points, we need them the most, we can defend 1-0, even if it been 3 nil, we are equally happy, but defending a 1-0 during the match, I never thought I would have taken 3 nil each every time, but now after the game, we defended a 1-0, we've got the confidence, mental block is out of the way, we can defend a 1-0 score, Phil Jones, you can see after he cleared the Danny Rose ball, 
tell himself to esteem and say, come on, and that's what we want. We want passion, we want energy, we want leadership in uh, the team. Zlatan is the leader, Pogba is the leader. Now Phil Jones, Marcus Rojo are the leader. Andre Herrera again, unbelievable. And then Marlon Fellaini came on and it looked like not, a, not again. It was hardly a minute left and he did well uh, to not concede a penalty. But overall it was good, it was positive. David De Gea was kept busy in the first half from out a long range of course. Second half as well had a free kick to deal with. He was very good as well. Important clean sheet for us, very important clean sheet. That gives David the confidence and our defense now it looks solid. Back for certain back for don't change it. Chris Smalling, Eric Bailly and Luke Shaw were out and it still looked very good. It, it, it now looks settled, settled back for his all that is necessary now we got to go on a winning run i can't say that we should win all games in december boom 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 we should all we should win all games in december that's very tough but like liverpool did when they finished second because of we all know what steven gerrard slipped that's what we want we need to go on a winning run winning streak win every fucking game like chelsea is chelsea has won nine games now on the row, unbelievable, they're top of the table, and we're three points off Spurs and six of Manchester City in fourth. We are in it, boy, we are in it, and it feels great again. It feels energetic again. Two games coming up City dipped in form, Spurs not playing pretty well, and that's the time. This is the time to get on the run, climb up the table. And if Liverpool lose today, hopefully they'll lose, they will be on the same points as City, six points. So it's not the biggest of gaps, you know, it's still December, games coming thick and fast. Hopefully, hopefully we'll climb the table. For the man of the match, for me, absolutely Hendrik Mkhitaryan. His passing, movement, everything. Goal, of course. Fantastic injury. Uh, it hurts, it hurts. He's in best form of his Manchester United career. And then injury, and it looked pretty serious the way he twisted his ankle. So my man of the match is Henrik Mkhitaryan on Wednesday we go away to Crystal Palace in the Premier League and then again on Sunday away to West Brom so give your man of the match in the comments hit the like give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel most importantly hit the subscribe comment your man of the match share the video thank you so much we are in it we're still in it share the video as I said I will see you soon thank you very much